Cal State Northridge with reaction at this hour. Rachel. Yeah, Jeff and Susie, Cal State Northridge is one of 33 universities statewide that will be affected by this plan. Now, CSUN also happens to be a vaccination site in L.A. County, so people on this campus won't have to go very far to get a shot in the arm. Before students, staff, and faculty are back on the campus of Cal State Northridge, they'll have to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a pretty bold step. Today, the California State University and University of California Systems announced that they intend to require vaccinations for anyone returning for on-campus classes and activities this fall. But that'll take effect once the FDA gives full formal approval to the vaccines and once supplies are widely available. The vaccines being used right now are being administered under emergency use authorizations. I feel safer on campus knowing that everyone around me is vaccinated. Yeah, from a public health perspective, it's definitely responsible. I think you could make the case that it's somewhat overreaching in requiring, you know, staff and students and employees to become vaccinated. Uh, many, you know, think that is a personal choice. Both university systems are expected to allow for exemptions based on medical or religious grounds. They say policy and implementation details are still being developed. I honestly think it's a good idea. I don't think it's as crazy as some people might think. I mean, schools require a whooping cough vaccination. Um, I'm pretty sure the MMR vaccine as well. So I think this is just a natural progression of you know, what our world is going to be like. UC and Cal State leaders say this plan will be discussed with faculty and student representatives as well as labor groups, but they wanted to make the announcement now to give everyone enough time to make plans to get vaccinated before the start of the fall term. I think you have to be safe. I realize that we're trying to mitigate further spreading this until we get that uh, herd immunity reached. Right now, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are being administered under emergency use authorization, but health experts expect at least one of them to be fully approved by the fall. Reporting live in Northridge, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News. And now to some breaking news. The pursuit coming.